so we meet again. And uh, same old story, rocks that need breaking. Quite a good bit of granite there in the corner. And through here. And all that bit up there too. I've had a 20 ton excavator here that did his best in the corner uh, until the point uh, disappeared and uh, he had to go home. So um, I guess it's up to me now. So I'll uh, clean all the mud off and have a look at what we've got underneath. That's quite a lumpy big bit of granite to deal with on your home site, isn't it? Yeah, wow. A few holes in this baby. All short holes. All fired using millisecond delay debts to uh, keep the vibration down. So we've got a swimming pool just here. We don't want to affect that, but that won't be a problem. I know how to do that. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'll get drilling. time. I uh, just uh, stopped and filled up the uh, generator that runs the, the vac. Filled up my oil bottle over here, my old Broomweight oiler, airline oiler. It's probably about 70 years old that thing I reckon. Still works good. I wonder what other people are using for um, drill oil. I've always used uh, Dextron ATF, automatic training fluid. Everyone I know uses it, so it's probably all right. Drills last a long time, so I guess it's all right. I wonder what uh, you're using if you're a driller. Yeah, okay, on to the next bit of rock, because I've finished all down there. I think there's uh, 56 or so holes I've got in there. It's good morning's work. Went through it pretty quick, because I'm using sharp reground drill heads. And they're just tearing through it. Uh, it's lunchtime, so I've, I've just changed drill heads to another set that have just been reground, just so I continue on at good speed, give the customer good value for money, and uh, go home early, maybe. You never know. Yeah, whoops. All right, I'll uh, set up and bank some more holes down. Deeper ones this time. Done drilling. Uh, there's 75 holes. It's been quite a big day. All these holes up here are 1400 by 38s. Uh, down there, they're 550 by 35s, and a few other bits and pieces here and there. 
and um, yeah finished just in time to catch the worst of the traffic home which is quite away from here it's more than two hours this time of day so um, we'll blow this up sometime soon thanks for watching so I've arrived back at the job on blast day it's been raining uh, it's a bit wet this morning but not too bad a bit muddy um, excavators here but no operator I just hope they're coming because they haven't told me they're not but that wouldn't be the first time so uh, step one is to get all the water out of the holes Well, finally the rain stopped and I've got all these holes loaded. It's a fairly large uh, domestic shot. Gonna pull off uh, 63 holes in the one blast. And uh, hopefully that'll fix it up. It's only just loaded hard enough. Would have liked to put just a tiny bit more in it, but um, this will have to do for this one. Thanks for watching. Sixty three hole shot. Just seeing the first glances of the broken rock. It's uh, always a good uh, feel. Oh, look at that. Now, when you load a shot and you think it's only just enough, you're always worried it's going to eject. And if you eject the front row or something, every row behind it ejects and it becomes a very expensive disaster. But, uh, yeah, so it's always those first few holes that you're interested in having a look at when it's been uncovered. And so far, so good.
got two little bits that were stuck, uh, but such is life. It's only two more holes to drill and, uh, and pop. I'll just wait for him to get a bit further away and uh, then I'll start loading up this one here when he's done sorting all that cheese. Another job done. The rock is gone. There's two truckloads left there. Another three have already gone. And the swimming pool is in place, undamaged. Thanks to good blast planning, millisecond delay detonators, and maintaining the dominant frequency as high as we possibly could. So uh, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.